for us. God will make our bodies so obey Him that He said in St. John, the sixth chapter, He that eats my flesh and drinks my blood has everlasting life and I will raise Him up at the last day. Think of it. Our bodies obey Him. When we have no more control of it and it turns back to a spoonful of dust, God will speak to that body and it will rise up again in the likeness of the resurrection of Jesus What are you worried about this? If it's in the hands of God, let go. Amen. For He will raise it up. That's what He promised to do. Thus saith the Lord is written in His Word. What are you scared about this then? The solo ship. He's in it. If he isn't, don't leave tonight until he comes in. It's a dangerous thing to try to sail without him. You'll be sunk sure, but you can't sink. If you sink, he'll raise you up again. So what difference does it make? The eternal life. God. Who can make all creation obey Him? Oh, I love that old church song. The winds and the waves obey His will. Peace be still, peace be still. Everything has to obey Him. All nature has to obey Him. He's a creator of nature. Amen. After the disciples found themselves at the end, it must have dawned on them, after they'd seen they couldn't do nothing about it, it must have dawned on them, say, we're in an awful shape here. Oh, I'm going to die, I don't want to drown. Oh, this, what am I say? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did it ever dawn on you that he's laying right there? <laughs> Yeah, we've been talking all about him, testifying about him, about the great works and claiming him to be the Messiah. And here he is, right here 